Hello everyone it is I, Miles Upshur. Tonight I'm at Mount Massive Asylum investigating reports of patient abuse and exploitation. The front gate is locked and no one's here, so I hope it's alright that I let myself in the side gate. It's not trespassing if it's unlocked, right? Someone's up there. He was moving pretty erratically, perhaps a patient off his meds. I have to get inside. These look like military trucks. What would they be doing here? Pretty sure those are radio jammers on top. My radio cut out as I drove up to the front gates, surely that can't be a coincidence right? If anything goes wrong I won't be able to call the police, so I better be careful. The goal is to expose this place. But I can't do that if I'm dead, or have been turned into a nano machine ghost. Front door is locked, and the intercom is off. Let's see if I can find another way in. This doesn't look good. Either there's been a break in or a patient has escaped, either way, doesn't look good on Merkel. Anyway, going any further would definitely be trespassing. Sorry guys. I'm not going to risk my freedom in career over a petty trespassing charge. Time to get out of here. Anyway, going any further would definitely be trespassing. But mama ain't raised no baby. Another locked door. But it looks like there's a way up through that window. I'll see you guys at the top. I made it. And there's more evidence of an escape. Let's see what's inside. The light went out right when I climbed up. This place must be haunted or something. Look at this place. What a mess. What on earth happened here? This must be violating countless patient living standards, right? Oh heck no. Those are bullet holes. Shoot. Frick. Gosh darn it I could be in serious danger here. Something really terrible went down here. Is that? Sweet baby Jesus, that's a frick load of blood. This is more than enough evidence to warrant a thorough investigation into patient living standards. I'm getting out of here. That's a frick load of blood. Turning back now would be the reasonable thing to do, but I have a feeling I'll find some jeepers. Even the TV is possessed, as I was saying, I'll probably find something even more incriminating if I head a little further in. There's no way this amount of blood was caused by anything other than a gunshot or stab wound. A battery, well, taking it would be stealing, which is highly illegal and unethical. I also don't plan on staying in this creepy place all night. This blood pattern looks like someone was shot, there's even bullet holes in the walls. Finally. Some hard evidence. It even mentions a lawsuit against Murkoff. This video could help immensely with that. What the cuss? There's someone in there. Hello? I'm a journalist trying to get evidence against Murkoff, 
your testimony could be vital in bringing them to justice. No response, well, I doubt that was the wind, so it could be proof patients are still living here. Even more blood. Is there a body there? It's hard to tell through the glass, I'm not sure. Are those intestines being fed? Whoa! Gadzooks! There must be a lot of blood up there for it to seep through the entire floor. Someone definitely died up there. It's still dripping, and looks fresh so I don't think this happened too long ago. Well, I'm not a moron, so I'm not going to go crawling through a hecking air vent to get even more trapped in here. This video proves multiple people have been seriously injured or likely killed here, and lethal force has been used either by patients or security. Someone appeared to be in that bathroom too, so patients are likely still living among these horrid conditions, eating and testings to survive. There's literally no way this place remains open after the media and police see this video. Man, I'm sure glad I have a functioning brain with a self-preservation instinct. It would have been awfully silly for me to go climbing through that air vent when I already had enough evidence. I can't wait to get home and take a shower.